Hello guys, welcome back to Zab Network. In this tutorial, we will install Nginx and PHP FPM on CentOS 6.5. First of all, we have to enable the Nginx repository in YAM. We can do that by creating this file and adding this paragraph and save it. Now we can proceed with the installation yum install engines php fpm and php confirm the installation Now we can proceed with the configuration of Nginx and PHP. First of all, we will configure Nginx. We can do that by opening this file in etc Nginx conf d and default. This is actually the default file that is provided within the installation. We will use this file. First of all, we have to change the root directory we will use var slash www slash html and we have to add, add index.php at the index parameter we go down below and here we have a paragraph which we have to uncomment this is actually the bridge that engines is going to use with php fpm and here we have two choices first of all we can use a TCP IP bridge or we can use a unix socket both Nginx and PHP FPM allow us to use unix socket which is much much faster than, than TCP IP I will use a unix socket in this tutorial so we have to edit like this TMP PHP FPM dot so you can use whatever name you want for this socket we have to add our home directory here as well and second of all we have to remove this file this file will actually this line will actually allow us to run scripts only in the scripts folder within our root directory I already have the right line for this which specifies that we can run the scripts in root directory this line splits the file name so we can identify the PHP scripts okay we are done with engines configuration let's save the file and go further with PHP FPM we can open the PHP FPM from etc PHP dash FPM dot D www .conf. it's the default configuration file they are providing within installation we will use this one and first of all we have to change the connection protocol we don't use the TCP IP in this tutorial so I will use the socket that I've created within engines which is slash TMP slash PHP dash FPM dot so second of all we have to comment this line which will allow only local host users to browse our website we don't want that for our website so I'm commenting it and third we have to change the user and group of the PHP FPM as we are using engines we have to use engines user ID and engines group let's save the file and start the services service engine start and service php-fpm start to make our test 
we will go in our root directory and create a small index.php file just for our test php echo test it will print test on our web page so It's working. Okay, it's working. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you liked it, and see ya. Bye bye.